Thank you, John. Well, the Black Nurses Association of Greater St. Louis is working on bridging the gap in nursing. They're providing scholarships to deserving students going into the medical field. Right now, they're getting ready for their fifth annual Edith L. Cole Scholarship and Awards Luncheon. Mia Glover, Vice President of Black Nurses Association, and Dr. Lenora Muhammad, President of Black Nurses Association of Greater St. Louis, join us now live to tell us why these scholarships are so crucial to nursing. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Mia, first off, uh, tell me a little bit about the luncheon. This is the fifth year for it, and uh, we're we're raising awareness, we're raising funds uh, to send these students off into this field. Tell me about the luncheon. So the luncheon was um, actually named after Edith L. Cold, who was the, the nurse of all nurses. She was a local ombudsman and had been a, a critical care nurse for 40 plus years. She passed away. So we have named this luncheon in her honor and we are really changing the face of nursing. We are bridging the gap and we really want to get these nursing students an excellent start off into nursing school. So the luncheon is, um, it's on the 17th of September from 11 to 2 at Orlando's, um, and we just are excited about this opportunity. Awesome, and uh, uh, Leonora, she talked about bridging the gap. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, some of the discrepancies and the differences and maybe um, certain communities being underrepresented uh, in this field. Absolutely, and that was even more prevalent when COVID came about, mm -hmm. where we've seen some health disparities in our community, in the African-American community. And so that's one thing that we pride ourselves as the BNA of Greater St. Louis is going into the community, helping our patients to understand what this means, right? When COVID came out, we had to go in and give the education about how to take care of themselves, where to access the care, where to get the vaccinations and everything. And so that's part of our mission is education in our community. We have been a staple in the community for many, many years. We would love to have a, a great space in our community in North St. Louis. We have partnered with uh, St. Louis Community College. They have been gracious enough to provide us space to have our local meetings, but we wanna have a building in St. Louis so we can be a, a, a true staple in the community, so we can be right in the thick of things where we can help um, our community to understand their healthcare needs. Definitely, and uh, Mia, tell me how people can uh, contribute to help with these scholarships and how they can register to go uh, to the luncheon. And e even if they can't make it to the luncheon, they can still donate too, right? Absolutely, we definitely accept donations. Um, our website, www.bna-stlewis.org, is where you can go to get ticket information as well as uh, give donations. Awesome, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. If you guys would like to uh, hear that information again, just go to our website, fox2now.com, and there you can hear that website on how you can go ahead and register to get your ticket.